Humility is first of all acceptance of God's will and the activity of human will. I gave an example, things that happened to a famous sportsman, a now healing doctor, de Kuhl. I described it in the book. Valentin de Kuhl used to be an acrobat and he fell down 30 meters onto the circus arena. He broke his spine. Doctors told him, you will never get up. Be humble and accept what happened. He was humble and accepted it. But for him, humility wasn't passive, but trying not to look for people to blame. Absence of hatred for destiny. Absence of regretting the past. If God gave you something, accept it. And then he was lying down in bed and put his cast-covered legs up and down through a device. And he was imagining that he was putting his legs up and down on his own will. Doctors told him it was impossible. But he couldn't just lie there and do nothing. He turned the stress energy not into sadness, hatred or dissatisfaction but into improving the situation. He was sort of training his body. He was training the situation. Five years later, his legs started to move. And a year later, he got up and went back to the circus. And a few years later, he was lifting a car, two tons, on his shoulders. So the term humility means love in the soul and no claims to God and to destiny. But only a true monotheist can experience real humility because there are two opposite processes in true humility. Complete acceptance of God's will and active realization of your own will, your desires. Christ has that. On one hand, he speaks of complete acceptance of what's happening and of complete forgiveness of everyone. Because if you feel God in every person, you can't hold grudges, judge anyone. You're judging God. That's why there is complete forgiveness on the inside. And on the outside, if a person misbehaves, he can be educated and punished. Christ said that you need to achieve, move forward. Knock and someone will open the door. Seek and you shall find. That is, his humility is the higher humility before God. Complete acceptance of God's will was completed by activity to educate and change the world around us. In naive religious concepts, humility is complete passivity, internal and external.
So, if you don't like a situation, change internally and try to change the situation. That's why I tell everybody, never hold claims within. Always tell them out loud. And when you are sincere with another person, he will be educated and you will change.